Hey guys, it is Ari and I am back with a new video. I know I've been gone for a long time, but I've been just trying to figure out my clientele, make sure they're good and everything else in life. So this is just me showing you the wig after I toned it and I ended up toning it using just some Shimmer Light shampoo. I mixed it in a bucket of water and then just kind of mix it around or whatever as if I was watercoloring it and then I dipped the wig in and that just took out all the yellowness and stuff from the unit. So today we're going to go for like a pink look. We're gonna do a dark pink money piece in the front. We're gonna do light pink all over and we're gonna do a dark pink in the back. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. So I'm using pink rose from Adore. And right now I'm just prepping the bowl. Like I'm about to do a watercolor. So I'm just filling the bowl up and I'm just emptying the contents of the bottle. Y'all know I do this all the time, so I don't really need to explain that part. The water is hot, so I did hot water. I didn't put anything on the lace to like prevent it from taking color because it doesn't take color when I watercolor it. I don't know if it's just me, but it does not take color when I watercolor it, so I don't have to worry about the lace turning color. So this is just a color I picked up from Sally's. I am not sure of the name. But it's like a, how do I describe it? It's like a cream color. It was really weird, but I like the color. So I was like, I'm going to try it out. So I'm just going to empty that into the bowl as well. I really don't think that had much to do with the color. I really just think it was that pink rose. But I only had one bottle. So I needed to mix something with it to kind of stretch it because it wasn't dark enough. So that's the only reason I'm adding this in there with it. At this point, I'm pretty much just getting the water ready and testing it to see how vibrant the color is because I need the pink to be light. But at the same time, I really need it to show up. Like I need everybody to know it's pink without having to do a double take. So... I did not have enough color so I'm just emptying whatever I can find to make this stretch because I don't want to go back to the supply store I already had clients lined up like I was in a time crunch and yeah so I'm pretty much just working with with what I have and like I said this jar I end up getting from Sally's I don't remember the name I know it was in a box and then it was in a jar like that and I only bought one of those but I should have read the back because it actually said that I would need about two or three jars. But didn't read it, so I'm going to find out the hard way. So now I'm pretty much just going to submerge the wig in the water. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm just kind of dipping it, pulling it out so I can see what it looks like, putting it back in there. Just make sure the color is all mixed around good because you don't want any pieces to be not colored when you're doing watercolor that's the main thing you have to worry about is making sure everything is 100% colored and as you can see it's taking really 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 good and that's about the color that I want but it could be a little bit darker so I'm just pretty much trying to empty whatever is left in the bottle just to make sure everything is covered evenly and it's the perfect light pink shade that my client wants. So pretty much I'm still doing the same exact thing. I'm trying to make sure like there's no color left behind. Because you know with those bottles, sometimes it's always a little bit, see, it's a little bit at the bottom. So pretty much just going to empty that out. And keep mixing the wig around. Make sure there's no light spots. Make sure everything is the same exact color. So this is 613 hair for my collection. So the thing is, for this color, I found it easier if I just color the whole wig, the light pink color that I want, then go back in section it and do the dark in the spots that I want that will be easier and less time consuming so that's the way I did it now looking back at the at all these 
clips it took me about maybe 15 to 20 minutes in total to do everything so i'm pretty sure that was the most quickest way to do this type of color so yeah that's why i'm dipping the whole wig in with this color and as you can see she's giving a very much cute after the light pink is very cute but the client wants dark pieces so we have to give her dark pieces now you see me just sectioning off the piece that I want light and the back is where the dark piece is going to be so I did pretty much just sectioned it off so it won't be in the way and I'm going to go ahead and watercolor the back darker so I end up using the same color I had before but I used more of the color in the back than I did in the front so that makes it more pigmented than it was the first time. So pretty much with some colors what I do is I use less if I want it lighter and I use more if I want it darker and more pigmented. So that's all I'm going to do for this and it's pretty much repetitive so I don't need to explain. I want it the same way I did the first one. And this shade is so cute. Oh my God, it's so cute. And this against the top shade, it's, it's, it's just a perfect combination. Like I really like this color. And now I'm pretty much just rinsing off the excess color, but it's pretty much done. I did the same exact thing on the front piece. I forgot to record that part. But yes, this is the end result. It is so cute and my client was absolutely in love. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I have plenty of more content on the way. I'm getting back into the swing of things. But this is the first of many new uploads, so stay tuned.